Welcome back everybody. Hope you are all doing well today. Or I've got something new for you to take a look at today. King Under the Mountain. New game uh, developed and published by Rocket Jump Technology. Slated to come out in just a couple of months on November the 24th. Interesting little fun game if you're a fan of the uh, like Rim World stuff like that. And this is definitely going to be something up your alley. Fantasy as you can tell, generated based game. It is a uh, similar, but in a lot of aspects different. Of course, we're going to be, I believe, dwarfs. I've played a few times, and that's all I ever see is dwarfs. So gonna gonna stick with that until I'm proved otherwise. You're gonna see a lot of similarities. That, you know, simulated world, huge seeds. So if you want to share it, a little bit different too. It's mainly if you want to, it'll be a peaceful expansion, but you can do it, you know, however you want interesting thing about this is your city you can save it you know and ad upload it for adventure mode where people can create parties you know adventure parties and they will go and they will try to attack your you know your town your city now don't worry you're not going to lose anything you might gain something if you know successfully defending it and learning new ways to set up if you're attacking you don't lose anything if you lose if you win you know you get some spoils but you know if it's your city you don't have to worry you're not going to lose anything you don't have to you know oh god i don't want to play this stuff might my stuff might get lost no 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 so you know don't worry about that but i will leave the link down for the game down you know steam link down below in the description in case you're interested want to check up a little bit more on it maybe follow it or if there's a if the demo is still up take a look at it you know or and they might those come and go too so they might have some new ones by then to test out some stuff but let us we're going to start a new one we're not going to do that as you can see whole lot of stuff and as they warn you know there's a whole lot of stuff not thrown in here let's see, let's let's no, no, no. Barracks, yeah, that's, that sounds like a good dwarf name. We're, we're going to start Barracks. We'll give this a second to create everything. It's going to be the classic thing. It's going to give us a map. Let's zoom out here. Nice stream. I fix that you're going to have to worry about feeding, keeping everybody happy so they don't go nuts. And start killing everything. This is kind of a nice area right in here. A lot of farmland. What about over in here, though? This is kind of nice, too. And it's, you never know if there's going to be caverns in here. You do need to be careful about cave-ins. Now, there's not, that's, that's not really good. Well, I guess that could be good farmland. Um, not a huge fan, though. I kind of like all right down here so i just doop, 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 just lands all over the place good amount of trees right there i think we're gonna start off down in here somewhere um let's throw our stuff right in there all right all right let's give it a pause uh shuffle a bit you know crafting in this it's Pretty interesting. It will you can maintain certain stuff, and it's set up that way. It's not, and it'll, it, most of the things will tell you, especially if you leave the the tutorial on, which when it pops up, I'm not going to do. You know, back. Like, hey, here's your crafting. You know, you've got your settlers, and it actually will tell as you get people in here. As you can see, there's Corin. There's actually, you know. If you're a streamer or anything like that, there or watch your favorite streamer play it, there is Twitch integration where it will randomly pull out people's names for people. Oh, Fox is in here too. And another TT viewer. All right. Beta views. All right. But it will tell you here, here's all the stuff, and here's how many people I've got that can do each job. All right, you can click on it there, go there. It'll tell you a little bit out about each person. You, you, know, you can rename it. They can pretty much do you know three new jobs and it's just like everything else they need food they need drink they need to sleep their you know seasons it it's your classic thing so first things first let's get our zones up that this is what i forget what kind of zone this is let's 
uh stockpile let's go with settings okay so it's just a, a basic stockpile all right junk stockpile actually it looks like that would be for a little bit of everything all right first thing we're going to do let's set up a, a little seed stockpile we're probably going to go in right about in here so let's throw some seed let's throw the seeds over in there right. um yeah it's good and as any any good person who well I'm not saying I'm good any normal normal person let's start throwing in some some fields how about a nice seven by seven got to get our people fed let's see what do we, what all we have choices from uh, let's get some carrots some corn some potatoes and let's whoop, let's try that again let's go ahead and get some hops going so we, we kind of you know we're dwarfs we want the beer all right let's get that all done up and you can you know hit this and it'll actually show what the priority of each thing is so the one different thing about this is a lot of times they won't want to go get particular things. Like if say, yeah, like say the storage room here is full and this stuff's laying around. You know, I know it's alpha, it's early access. So if you play this, you need, might need to be on the careful side. You will need room to store your stuff because they want to get it from storage. So you need to be a little bit careful on that. No big deal. Let us mine straight into here. And then let's see. How about a nice, we want a nice three-way hallway. Yeah, keep it nice and then we'll branch off to two. We want a, a big Loris. All right, now here's this. I'm gonna keep it six by these initial rooms six by whoop not that six by six eight wait nope yoink because it will warn you there every room has a pillar you can build and it will warn you it's like hey you know you you, you don't want to do this if you have if it's seven by seven or bigger then you need to be careful because well your things collapse and you don't want to go you know hurting your dwarves killing your dwarves that should have been full speed i don't know why i didn't do that i guess I hit the button on accident so say so they're going to start sleeping here and they're going to start getting upset oh they don't wait, really you slept under the stars negative 20 slept on rough ground Really, you're more upset that you slept into the stars than on rough ground? I mean, I'd be a little bit opposite. I'd like to see this, you know, a nice starry night, but... Oh, well. Uh, I'm going to leave those trees for now. Hold on. What are, what are you... You're a chef. You're a stonemason. Right now, you can you can actually be a farmer, too. What, what else are we slacking on? Farmers. We only got one woodcutter. We got one miner too. All right. Uh, you're a woodcutter. Well, you're guess what? You're also a miner. You, carpenter, chef, um, farmer. You got anybody else running? Yeah, we do. Blacksmith, stonemason. Congratulations, miner. Uh, congratulations, farmer. There we go. And you can change these at will. So. Not a big deal. Now we'll actually get some of this stuff accomplished and shown to you in a hmm, reasonable-ish amount of time. All right, let's see. And I did learn something from this. Let's see. Another six by six. We'll throw an opening in there. All right. Chef. Food for the chef that I'm trying to remember oh yeah i need a another six by six there another six by six there yoink yoink 
going. There we go. All right. Now, well, let's get some of that junk out of our way. Uh, this is the wrong thing. Stockpile. Where is raw materials? For now. Yeah. Whoa, nope. There we go. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, there we go. They can store that stone down here until we are ready. And you're going to be sleeping outside quite a bit, fellas. We'll get this done. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to remember. Let's see. No, no, no. Let's try. There we go. Uh, let's see. Kitchen. I'll store stuff there. Feasting hall here. Definitely need a sawmill and a masonry. We can start doing bedrooms after that. I'm not worried about the graveyard. Brewery would be nice. We'll throw a brewery right in here. Maybe an earthworks here. All right, so we'll... Borders, mine. Flip farther back. We're just going to do a... There we go. What a nice, I don't know, four by four bedroom. All right, that's actually a good point. I don't know how many sellers I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, huh? All right. Still full speed, yeah. It's just so quiet under this mountain. So let's, no, uh, doesn't matter if I don't leave more room, uh, maybe we'll do some on this one. Why not? Let's see. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Whoa, 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 hold on. Let me pause that. Did I just see a dude right? Yeah, I did. What are you doing? You're farming, you're farming. All right. I thought we had some slackers. All right, let's, let's get some stuff built, shall we? Well, wait, they can keep doing that. I'm not worried about it. Kitchen. All right, now, you know, add or move in here. Real friendly inventory. Now, you know, furniture, it'll tell you what all goes in here and you can water, you know, mouse over each thing. It'll tell you, you know, where they're working spots. I mean, you've had right, Rim World, Prison Architect, you know, all of those games that this has got a lot of that in there. So you're not going to feel real lost. All right, let's put the cauldron there. Uh, and yeah, like the pillar, pillars require an area of seven by seven tiles that have been mined out without any pillars or support in it to place will eventually collapse. And when it collapses, like it not just drops stone and hurts people, anything in the way that you've taken the time to build, well, that's going to get crushed too. All right, not going to worry about the other. I don't know why you're storing. Well, I guess you just dropped it because so we got that. They can start. Well, whoever's the. We do have a cook, right? Yeah, actually, we've got two chefs. That works. All right. Zones. Let's do this. Stockpiling. We're going to. Well, it's not finished yet. We're going to throw food in here. So we'll store food here, and the cooks will go back, forth, back, forth, back, forth. Now, we are going to need. Another zone, we're going to have feasting hall. What good is making all that food if they can't actually eat anything? So they'll, they'll cook in there. They'll bring it to this cauldron right here. Right, we need a, a table, don't we? Yeah, let's get a nice table right here. There we go. That'll get that started. We need a water barrel. Yeah, they need, they might need something to drink in. All right, first things first, let, no, that fix it. I didn't do this quickly enough last, the first time I ever played this. Ooh, that was a mistake. You, 
you don't get the material stuff set up real quick and you start building all these rooms throwing down some doors Ooh, you fixing to get in trouble and when i mean tr say trouble i mean trouble oh a lot of this stuff takes materials to build and if you start throwing it down you run out and then you you're just not going to do anything so getting the the saw and the mason up very very important exciting you, know, you can you can pretty much click on anything and it'll it'll tell you exactly you know Jasper gems. You don't. You know, we don't have to worry about it. There was some stuff down here. What is this? Gold. These eight gravel. Do, 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 coal. Bituminous coal. Oh, yeah. Just a type of coal. All right. Got all that. I'm sure they'll do it. There can be, like I said, there can be caverns in here. I've seen one. I dug into the area, and it kind of breaks the rule about cave-ins because you're in a cavern, so you, know, you don't have to worry about collapses. Let me do this priority, highest priority to you and you. Don't care about the rest. Let's make sure those two things get built. Just, yeah. Oh, all right. Um, I mean, it's not that hard. I know what you are. We'll just add two. There we go. Once this starts coming in, we can throw it in there. They've got the seeds here to keep it good to go. Uh, inventory. Just got water in, so as soon as they grow some food, we'll get it. They've got food coming. We need to get a storage. Building. There we go. Stockpile. Let's see to get products i fix say this won't be, this is just will i can always you know how it is you can always move this later there's that so that's that need one for tools for now there's that not worried about that raw materials are over there yeah that that should get a little bit of everything so they'll come store these then they'll move them in there and we'll be good to go. So yeah, now now they'll start putting stuff up. Then hey, they'll be like, "Hey, we found it." But like I said, this is a early early alpha demo. So don't not a final product, just an this is still, you know, this is halfway between a coal and a diamond. It's under pressure right now, but they're working through the bugs. I know I've been following this game for at least, oof, I know over a year. I think it's closer to two years. Actually, it's probably two years now, a little over, because I, because it was tricky at first. There was actually two games called King Under the Mountain, so it's kind of confusing. But yeah, you click on that, it'll show you what all you can make, and you know, you can tell it how much you attain <clears throat> of anything. So it's real friendly setup all right let's start getting some bedrooms shall we put you right there ladder in there all right That. There we go. Zoom, zoom. Except if you're finished, then you're getting furniture and all that kind of nice stuff. Lantern. There. You, no, come on. Why didn't you dig that spot out? Punk. Hey, there's one spot left in here. Get the. 
I've already filled that up. All right, so they're cooking. They've already got some slop, gruel, whatever it is in there. All right, furniture. Oh, and tiles. Yes. As they get this up, no dwarf can complain. They're no longer sleeping out under the the starry sky. It's like we're fixing to break into an area here. Get to show that off. There we go. You might as well discovered a new area. Oh, this was actually rather small. All right. Y'all go ahead and keep doing dwarvy things. Uh, there we go. Now they can clean up, start breaking stuff down. Thirteen carrots. So we did get a little bit, and there are, you know, weather and whoo boy, did they get upset about certain things? The lightning strikes, the fires. Woo. I never played with some of these buttons. I fix a. Uh, yeah, there's it boasts lots of different ways to play. So you know whether you want to be farmer dwarves and make your money doing that? Or do you want to sell gear and be crafters? Do you want to do a little bit of everything? Or do you just want to be the, I'm going to conquer the, you know, get my mountain going. We're just going to conquer the world. We want all of it under her hair. You know, you ain't got a beard. You got to go. You got to have a good beard too. The dwarves know these things. Maybe I should prioritize bedroom. No, no. That's a good point. Got this, right? Yeah. What is how many? Okay, I got three carpenters, three miners, a one woodcutter, four farmers. Uh I could probably take well, if they're not doing it, then they're doing the other stuff. So that's not a big deal. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Uh you are really unhappy dwarven blacksmith you're not mining you're not stone masoning technically you could get a nice prepared mill oh good i guess technically i could make that bigger but they're you know now we got this kind of caved out we'll get this all fixed up and yeah, we got the lant what do we need for this? Birch planks? Are we making birch planks over here? I know we are. Can we? Planks. Need logs. We got planks. All right. Okay. So we need quarters. Chop. Chop, chop. Let's try that again. Quarters. Chop. We're going to let the. Little ones go there. Uh, let's. Let's clear all this stuff out and kind of make sure. Try to encourage Mother Nature to, to make a comeback. Ooh, those gems get me every time. I could have sworn some dwarf just went on a murder spree. Of course, you know, purple helmet mushroom. You can actually harvest the, the mushrooms too. So you don't, you know, that's one of the things you want to, you know, you find them, you can put it to loot use and uh, flooring i've never actually done flooring furniture okay so we can just kind of 
you take? Oh, does it currently have an in-game effect? Oh, well, that's disappointing. Uh, bridges, doors, walls, yeah, flooring, stone floor. Actually kind of... Kind of curious. Oh, it does look nice. All right, I'm I'm curious. Hold on. Build flooring. Yeah. Yeah. We. Oh, I'm not used to being able to do that. On oh, sometimes. All right. Yeah. 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 We're really going to tear through this tone now. I know. Oh, yeah. Look at that. We got one, two, three done. First bed. Dwarven stone. Can I? Thursday. We'll just go in here. Where's Thursday? All right. So at least it's say neutral because you had that. Getting this stuff will make everyone happy. That looks really nice. I l whoa, whoa. Are we clearing the, uh, uh oh. Orders. Is there a cancel? Yeah, there we go. Let's, there we go. Don't really want to remove the stuff we we're growing. Uh, let's see, corn plant. All right, still growing. It doesn't have an in game effect. That it has a lighting effect. All right, so we just gotta get that constructed. That'll get another one. So, I mean, it looks nice. There we go. Birch bed. No one's claimed it yet. I'm sure they will. There we go. And this, I mean, it's pretty much you don't. There's not as much micromanaging in this game as there was quite a rim world. This is, you know, they have three jobs. Unless you're pro, you know, depending on how your priority is, they will handle it and build the. You, know, you need certain stuff for this, then they're gonna do it however the priority is set up or if they can't do something even if it's the highest priority then they're not going to sit there like lumps they're just going to kind of go on down the line so it's one of those you know build it set it forget it almost kind of thing and watch them go and you're going to spend a whole lot of your time planning building and kind of thinking how you're going to take over the world. That's one of the things they I hope they have in here. They don't now, but hopefully they do in the future. Need to be able to, to take over the world. I've never actually built this. Let's own a mushroom farm. We do that right in here. What do we need? Mushroom log. Let's see. After inoculation, a mushroom log is placed in the tank to shock the mushroom colony and encourage it to grow. Interesting. All right, we're gonna throw that there. Mushroom log. What's a what's a mushroom log? I guess guess that that literally there we go. Throws them. All right. And you you're you're playing hard to get. I see how it is. Don't worry, I I'll get you. Now don't worry for large construction, huh? Charcoal clown. All right. I'd probably do that up in here. Oh, yeah, let's... Ooh, I do like that. You rotate? No. 
Yeah, I'm not sure what all that's good for. All right, remove tiles. We don't need all of that. Or that. Or even that. That looks nice. Do we want a graveyard? And we'll put a graveyard right here. What all we got in here? Sarcophagus, graves. Nah, we, we don't need all. It is nice to see. I didn't some of this stuff I didn't mess with. Metalworks, of course, brewery. Alright, so you're not activated yet, and that's fine. I mean, like they said, this is a really, really early so fuel. Alright, so we got all but two beds done. I mean that's it's not too bad for just a few minutes. Keep the bushes out of there. I guess I could put flooring around this and that would kind of keep it out. Oh, so they can, okay. So I, I'll, I definitely need to be careful on the kind of stone, but I mean the, the mix match, eh. That's good to know that it has different kinds. So I could put some in summer and some of the others. Stone paving. Wait, they're all stone paving. Hold on a second. Give me that. All right, where's the... Okay, so I just, they're grabbing whatever stone they can. All right. What do we got in here? Sweet corn soup. Okay, so I get it. They, we build it. They cook it. When this is empty, this is probably busted. And they just move the, the pot around. I built the, when I was testing this earlier I, I wasn't I was doing the things going through the tutorial learning multiple times because that's how I found out you really need these two rooms up very very quickly or else you are in a world of hurt going to be injected with mushroom spawn let's all right so let's order can we can we harvest this then yeah all right Went to be filled. Limestone shock tank. All right. So I guess we will harvest this and then use that on these. If worst case scenario. I, I, I really like the, the light animation on this. Done a, done a real good work with the, the lighting. Sleeping out in the... Oh, you poor, poor... Oh, you're just Fox. I was going to say, you poor old lady. But it's just Fox. Fox would probably actually... Normally, he would choose to, to sleep out in the open. But yeah, I fix to say, it is just really kind of bare at the moment where you get stuff. But I re You know, besides, you know, building a dwarven colony, I've got nothing against that. And having fun like that. The building bases, you know, or not bases, you know, your cities, kingdoms, I guess kingdom if you got large enough would be the best way to go. Uh, uploading it to where other people, friends, uh, just anybody you can go and be like, hey, I want to adventure here. Let's see if I can take them. And then, you know, start doing that who can build the kind of ultimate thing and fight off all of the adventures. I mean, Hey, you, you get loot. You don't lose anything. You only got something to gain. So why not? If this is something, like I said, this is just bare minimum right now. There's still more to come. Uh, cause it's one of those things they're trying to, it's from my understanding, it's mostly there, the concept and everything, but it's, being put in, you know, 
one at a time and then slowly to kind of, hey, is this balanced? All right, let's kind of work on that. But at the same time, let's crush bugs and stuff like that. So it's not one of those, it, it's all there with buggy mess and we'll work on it. It's one of those try to try to get them as you go kind of deal. Uh, it is winter time. I hope we had enough food stored up. Looks like we do. It's everything is dead. Oh, good. Oh, those are bushes. Darn it. Because I fixed it. So you do need to, from the looks of it, we need to save some trees. That's one of the things that if it's not ready to do, then hopefully in the future it will, where you can grow trees. But I know that's not really much of our thing as a, a dwarven thing but you know so even this ice well that doesn't look like oh those are snow flurries okay that's why it looks so what if temperature will actually be a thing in the future because like right now there's no spoilage or anything like that so that, that'll be interesting to see if that comes in with spoilage but that's it for today for now this is king under the mountain like I said, link down below if it's something you want to follow and see if it keeps going along the path that you would like. You want to pick it up when it's good to go and ready or when you're ready for it. But until next time, I'm out of here. Thank you all for joining me and hope you enjoyed what you saw and hope you look forward to seeing more of it. Until next time, have a good day, good afternoon, whichever the case might be. And until next time, I shall see you all on the flip side.